Welcome to ETAV webinar, Seamless Transition of Microgrids from Grid Connected to Islanded Mode. Now, plan islanding is typically microgrid control system receives the islanding command and tries to balance uh, or before balancing load and generations. If it has time, if it's way ahead of time, it tries to prepare the microgrid for the islanded operations, charging a battery, uh, make sure that it has good amount of charge to sustain a microgrid for a long time. Then it comes to a few minutes prior to the islanding to balance load and generations. Uh, typically, it tries to uh, increase the power of the battery, the discharge power, uh, to minimize the import power. If requires to start a generator, it starts a generator. Then if it requires a load shedding, if there's a significant amount of import power, it does the load shedding. So it brings the balance in both active and reactive power. And then also sets the local controllers and protected devices if protection system needs to adjust. And then it creates the island. And then transitions definitely to the islanded mode of operation. Now, let's look at a quick demonstration. So here I have a simple microgrid. Uh, I have about uh, 1.2 MVA uh, wind, I have 1.2 MVA solar, I have 1.2 MVA battery with uh, 2 megawatt hour capacity, I have about 4 MVA load. Uh, another important function in a micro, that microgrid controller is supposed to provide is the plan islanding. In the plan islanding, what happens is that typically a system operator or a distribution system manager sends a command ahead of time to the microgrid controller and says that I want to island this microgrid in, let's say, four hours from now and I want to maintain it for two hours. And uh, what happens is that the microgrid controller is going to slowly bring down the active and reactive power at the point of interconnections, make sure that the power is balanced, and then disconnect the circuit breaker. For this microgrid, typically, the, the one that I'm studying here, the reactive power is not that much, and we are mainly focusing on active power balance. Now, Again, in ETAB environment, the commands always come through the gateway. So in our digital twin for the gateway, we created already a case that user can say that I want to send some commands of plan islanding, emulate the plan islanding commands. So we say that in the first day of the simulation at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, so we are running 24 hours of simulation at 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, 0 minutes and 0 seconds, we are going to send a request for plan islanding. And we said that we want to do plan islanding at four hours from eight, which would be 12 hours, 12 o'clock noon. And we want to have a two hours durations. So what the uh, microgrid controller does, it looks at the forecast of the loads, generations. Uh, it looks at the state of charging the battery and does some calculations that in order to maintain the two hours of the islanded operation, uh, how much battery needs to be there, how much load shedding is needs to happen, uh, what assets needs to bring up if you have a backup diesel generator and things like that. So in this case, I'm running a scenario for 24 hours. Okay, let me run this scenario that I've prepared already. So plan islanding, we are going to run time domain load flow in this scenario. 24 hours, 8 o'clock request, 12 o'clock is going to bring down the power, but ahead of time also is going to charge the battery. Okay, so we ran 24 hours and let me plot the power, active power of different assets. As you see here, that uh, we send with the moment that we send the request, okay, we already had our battery charge in somewhere here, okay. Uh, the battery had full charge uh, or enough charge to sustain the two hours. So the key point is here, few minutes before we're going to the islanded mode, what the microgrid controller does is gonna actually start, let's say the battery, brings up the power of the battery, and this results into bringing down the active power at the tie cable. So this is, if I just remove the PV 
and keep the battery here you see that as the battery goes up the power comes down and the moment that it reaches to certain level it has some dead band around 100 kilowatt the next time a step which is about oh, five seconds from now, it can actually do the eye landing. So this is another uh, important functions of a macro grid that uh, whenever we wanna have a planned uh, seamless eye landing, we can use a planned eye landing. Thank you for your attention.